Today we are in Taipei. This is our first day here in Taiwan. We're going to be exploring Taipei and obviously eating lots of delicious Taiwanese food. And uh, right now we are at Taipei 101. Look at that. So tall and beautiful. And uh, that is the tallest building in the world between 2004 and 2010. Absolutely stunning. So let's go explore. Taipei. So we are just strolling here on the street here in Taipei. That is the World Trade Center. It's really cute. Very I love the pink. pink yeah, I really yeah. like that. And uh, you have really nice cycle lanes and uh, where we can actually walk. Very clean and uh, there's a lot of greenery as well. Like they've planted a lot of uh, trees, got a lot of grass. So you also have very nice pedestrian crossings. Some countries we go to they're, they don't work or they're just really difficult to cross the uh, streets so that's nice and it's getting very hot it's m morning time <laughs> and it's 27 degrees 27 degrees one thing we've actually noticed and it's pretty noticeable is there is so much traffic uh, here in Taipei look look at this crossing tons of uh, cars this is like a crossroads here wow look at that view here this is a really nice view. I love this kind of graphic here, inspired by nature. And you can see the, the motorbikes, there's a lot of motorbikes. Feels good to be in Taipei. Busy, busy. This is, it really does feel good to be in Taipei. But wow, okay, I think uh, there's someone whistling. I don't know what's happening. All right, here the motorbikes are going. Wow, look at this. This is like a uh, <laughs> Hello, Ni Hao. We've got their kind of flatbreads there. That's like the dough. Wow, that looks really good. All right, we are ready with our slip. I don't know if we, where we show this. Ah, uh, So uh, I'll take you around here. He's actually making them fresh. Just like this. So you've got this uh, over here. It's a UTL? UTL here. And uh, he's making, this is UTL, <laughs> so he's making them fresh over here. Oh, they're frying away. And it looks like, uh, hello, Ni Hao. And uh, he's got uh, what looks like some kind of dough with egg kind of combined. Oh, this food's making me very hungry. And there's a, a queue. So that's a sign of a very good place. And uh, Carolina is doing her Instagram here. And I think this is like uh, some of the soybean milk. So he's going to scoop that in into one of these cups here. Uh, and I love the machine. <laughs> Nicely wraps up like a lid on top. <laughs> oh wow, that looks so good. This, what, what is this? Oh, this one's our one. <laughs> so she's got a lot of the kind of different ingredients here. Oh, okay, so it's uh, 100. All right, Carolina, you do the honors. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I was just saying, when we actually arrived, everyone was so welcoming, friendly, they smile, and they always try to help you out. So I think the Taiwanese hospitality is really, really good. All right, it's time to dig into our breakfast. So we have the sweetened soy milk here. We've got what looks like a kind of... Uh, Savory one. Like, like a congee or something. Uh, yeah. And there's some kind of bread on top with... Uh, I have no idea, you're gonna have to try that out. And you've got a rice cake? Yeah, roasted one. Like a rice... Is it a rice cake? Uh, yeah. Is that what it says on the menu? Yeah. And uh, also I've got a yu tiao. So uh, this is going to be really interesting. I'm just going to bite into it, see what it's like. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Super crispy, buttery. Mmm. Now, I think you actually dip it into here. I think that's the traditional way to have it. So let's try this out. All right, let's give this a go. Ooh, it's spilling everywhere. Nice. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. It's such a good combination. It's like a buttery, a bit salty, and then the uh, the milk here is sweet. So it's a really good combination to dip it in. How's yours, Carolina? Oh, I'm spilling it everywhere. Actually, mine is so interesting because, as you can see, it's kind of like a broth, 
from the soy milk and there's a soup as well so the combination is very good. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. What does it taste like? A little bit like soy but also like porridge kind of thing. And uh, there's some spring onions and then also the bread. But, uh, I think ambulance in the background. But uh, I think you just did you bite into this? Maybe bite into it. Maybe, but I would like to use the sauces as well. Oh yeah, so we got some sauces here. <laughs> so fluffy. So this is the spicy one, made in Taiwan. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have finished our breakfast. Still got a bit of my drink here. Oh, shishi. <laughs> Super great place here. Oh yeah, that was good. That was a really good breakfast. Ni hao. Uh, easy card. Uh, e easy card, uh, yo yo card. Uh, uh, ah, it's uh, oh, this is the this is the card. So you can actually get different designs of the easy card. So you've got some kind of like uh, dumplings over here, some one with a bubble tea there, but uh, these are the best. <laughs> this one's so funny. Crayon. I think we should go for these two. We have finally got our cute easy link cards. I think they call them yo yo cards uh, here in uh, Taiwan and I thought it was gonna be straightforward we're trying to charge up 500 uh, new Taiwanese dollars onto each of the cards <laughs> and we had to use cash we couldn't use card could yeah. we and there was some miscommunication as well yeah and the <laughs> lady just students. came and but a lady just came and helped us and then on the way out uh, she said to Carolina Oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> it was so cute. It was really cute. Like they're really willing to help you here, um, mm. the the people here in Taiwan, and that really makes us feel welcome. Wow, that was uh, really amazing. I've never seen anything like that. They were actually using like swords, but really beautifully. You, like moving their uh, bodies in like kind of an art form. So good. Wow. That noise is actually coming from a man just over there. Oh. <laughs> That's not from a bird. <laughs> but uh, we are in Dan Forest Park. We are surrounded by nice, beautiful greenery here in the heart of the city. As I said earlier, we do have our easy card. I love the little guy on the card there that's going to help us to get around taiwan very easily it's contactless so you just tap onto buses i think also onto the mrt here mm -hmm. and in some cases you can get a discount so it's very handy to have this card what's also handy to get is a sim card so yesterday we got a sim card from chunghua telecom uh, it cost a thousand new taiwan dollars not taiwanese dollars like i said earlier um, and that's just for one SIM card. So we actually, a little travel tip for you is actually carrying a hotspot from my SIM cards. We only have to buy one SIM card and uh, that's for a 30 day plan. And I want to show you the internet, internet speeds here in Taiwan because they're really good. And I've just dropped my card, but we're going to keep going. <laughs> the card's there. <laughs> oh, okay. That wasn't supposed to happen on the camera. All right, let's put this in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice that? <laughs> I was just trying to carry on, but uh, what I do want to show you is the internet speeds here in Taiwan, which are incredible. So check that out, guys. Over 140, there we go, over 150 megabytes per second download. And the upload is pretty good as well. So internet speeds, are fantastic here in Taiwan. If you don't have a SIM card, let's say you've just got off the plane, you're at the airport and you have no way of connecting to the internet. You do have a way. There is usually open Wi-Fi at airports, shopping malls, cafes, even sometimes in the city, you can find open Wi-Fi. Now the problem with open Wi-Fi is that it's open. There's no password to connect to it. Anyone can connect to it. And often or not, hackers, people who want to access your private or sensitive information can get hold of that information unless you connect to NordVPN. So with NordVPN, it encrypts your data. So it helps to keep you protected from 
these packets. NordVPN can also help you to save money. As travelers, we're always buying flights and accommodation. And these websites, so the airlines, the hotels, often change their prices according to your location. So what you can do with NordVPN is connect to different countries and check the prices to get yourself the best deal. Often when you're traveling to countries, they actually censor the websites and apps that you use just normally back at home. For example, in Indonesia, I often use Reddit to do my research for trips. I find really good travel tips by going onto Google, putting in my question like best things to do in Taipei and then putting Reddit and that'll often give you a lot of good information. But in Indonesia, you can't access this website. And there is so many cases for this, but with NordVPN, you can actually connect to servers back home or around the world, which gives you access to your favorite websites and apps. Get your exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com forward slash Jesh. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. We have made it to Yong Kang Street here in Taipei. It is a huge foodie street, one of the most popular ones, I think, here in Taipei. It's uh, very lively right now. There's lots of people out here having lunch, and we are coming to where this food panda guy is. And there was a queue here earlier, but it looks like there's no queue. But uh, what we're going for, Ni hao, is these uh, green, I think green onion pancakes. Oh, they look so good. Um, oh, I think they've got egg inside of them. You can see, there's egg inside of there. Uh, we have uh, one, number three, uh, Taiwanese basil and egg. Uh, just one. Sure, sure. Oh, it smells so good. I think they're making the uh, dough over here, just over there. And then over here we have some eggs, just, just cracking them actually. So I think this one is our one, with some salt in there. Ah, uh, just a little bit, a little bit. There we go, oh there we go, perfect. We do like a little bit of spice to our food, but not too much, we don't want to like burn our mouth off. Okay, there we go, that was 45 Taiwan dollars. Oh, she -she. She -she. Look at this, guys. It's super hot and fresh. All right, we could try one. All right, thank you. She -she. This is uh, candy. Strawberry. Like strawberry. Yeah, strawberry. Oh, hard. Mmm. Fish. Ah, you got uh, three. Melon and mango. Mellow mango. Uh, melon mango. Uh, strawberry. Yeah, and a peach. And peach? Yeah. What? On try? Ah, uh, maybe later. Okay. We have uh, the pancake. <laughs> this one here, look. Ah. Uh, it's good? Okay. <laughs> Alright, sure, sure. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, that was very, uh, sh very strange. Like um, a dried strawberry. Mm. Tastes a bit like strawberry, but it's very sour. So, this is the scene here on Yongkang Street. Oh, this looks like a good place. Very old style. Of course, you can't come to Taiwan without having Taiwanese tea. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> there is a lot of uh, noise here in uh, Thai, uh, Taipei. This uh, van is uh, moving back. Oh, this one as well. <laughs> Let's cross over here, yeah. And so, actually, this is the sign. I'm going to run to it closer for you guys. Yong Kang and Karina, did you know? So one of the particular things to have on this street, so you can see these cute kind of figures. Tea is there, but this is the shaved mango. Yeah. Did you notice that? I think I did. You did? Yeah, yeah. And there's a place there where there, there was a lot of people eating it. Mm -hmm. uh, I was saying earlier, it's super loud here in Taipei. There's often a lot of construction happening. I was surprised by that. Literally every corner of the city that we've been to so far, there's always kind of loud banging and construction going off. And of course the traffic with the, uh, the motorbikes and things like that. But um, I think it's time to dive into this. God, it's piping hot, but uh, you can't actually see inside of there, but we'll bite inside of there and show you. <laughs> Okay guys, it is time to have our pancake. So uh, let's give this a go. 
it seems like a lot of things here, like snacks, are kind of bready. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Good. Mm hmm. Mm. Smells eggy. We went for the one with egg, spring onion. There's also some sort it's of basil. spinach. It's basil. Ah, basil. Basil. So you, sometimes we have basil on pizza, but that goes really well with the egg. Mm. So there's basil, egg, and uh, is there cheese? No, there's no cheese. Mm. So I think actually I saw on a guide online that having this with basil, egg and cheese, but we just mm. wanted to go for one of the classic ones. It's a very nice combination, like simple, but very distinctive because of the basil. And they have uh, some of that kind of sauce that she was putting on there to give a bit of sweetness. Mm. And then there's also some, a bit of chili sauce mm. there. So mm. very nice. So we're a little bit deeper into the pancake. I forgot to mention that actually it's a onion pancake, but uh, I can't really taste the onion. I don't know where the onion is. Mm. Mm. When you get deeper into the pancake, you have the the basil, the sweet sauce, the chili sauce, with the egg kind of all infused. Really delicious. On the outside, you get a bit more of the taste of the bread. When you get into the inside of it, whew, so much better. So we are heading to find even more food. Just drinking uh, Bakari Sweat because it is getting very hot. Caroline has got her Coke Zero. She's in love with Coke Zero. Um, it is getting very hot, but this park here, which is the Yong Kang Park, is where we would recommend you grabbing your foods from the street and then actually coming here for some shelter. And there's lots of benches and uh, you can even fill up your water bottles if you want to yeah and people are just chilling it's so nice here so all along the street you'll find eateries like this you can see there the mango shaved ice wow it's huge <laughs> and actually they were before like pumping out steam from this uh, restaurant it's completely busy as you can see uh but usually the oh there you go it's got more steam there <laughs> but um Usually with the mango shaved ice, the portion there is enough for like a group of people. So not for us today, but we are going to try a dessert, which is a very traditional, I think, dessert here in uh, Thai, Taiwan. But I love just walking down the street. It's uh, just nice uh, ambience here. People just strolling, wanting to uh, grab some food. You can do a little bit of shopping in places like this as well. It's a huge, there's a huge like influence of tea here. Massive uh, tea culture, which I love because I am more of a tea drinker and Karina does enjoy tea as well, but she's more of a coffee drinker. And there's actually also a lot of coffee places. Next up guys, we're gonna be trying this Shao Nan Men traditional soybean jelly. I think we have to get into the uh, queue here. Hello. Uh, hello, number seven? Seven here. Uh, yes, here. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, cold. Uh, cold. Uh, cold or warm? Cold. Cold, yes. She's adding in what looks like the tofu pudding. Some ice over here. Cool. And some tapioca and peanuts. Number one. Uh, this is the number one one. Okay, good choice. <laughs> Wow, look at that, guys. Can't wait to try this. Okay. Thank you. Shisha. Okay. Oh, all right, I got it, I got it. Don't worry, don't worry, I got it. Okay, so heading on inside. So there is no seating. This place is completely full. You can see everyone is sitting down. Seems like a popular place. They've got like a production line going on in the background. Uh, but we're going to stand up and just kind of be flexible with it. All right, thank you very much, Shisha. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right, I don't know how we should be eating this, but I'm just going to go for a big scoop. Get a bit of the tapioca, the pudding, the peanuts. Let's give this a go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ice cold. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. A bit of brain freeze, but really soft. Mm -hmm. It's not overly sweet, just you a little, can, bit, of, little yeah. bit of sweetness. And um, what, is there something you wanted to say? Yeah, you can taste the soybeans straight away. Mm -hmm. And also the peanuts are not crunchy, they're more like uh, Soft, mushy. Like mushy, yeah. yeah. So this, I'm just going to try the tapioca over there with the tofu pudding. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. 
What I like is, is that there's just a little bit of sweetness mm. in a tapioca. That's and the then thing. you said these uh, peanuts are a bit mm -hmm. um, mushy for me. Mm. Mm. If I didn't know, I would say it's like beans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> nice. I wonder if uh, it's more popular to have it hot or cold. I think on a day like this where it's super hot, I think this is the one to go for. Away from the hustle and bustle of the city and the busy roads, we've actually come to King Tian Street, which is known for having these kind of old Japanese style uh, buildings because uh, they actually occupied Taiwan a long time ago. And uh, it looks like they've been slightly restored on this side, but actually this is the kind of look of the buildings. And you can actually have tea here, it's a tea house, but you can see the beautiful kind of nature. It's really nice. And uh, coming out of there and uh, going through these kind of streets here in Taipei, it's nice because there's always a way to get away from the noise and the hustle and bustle. But you can see you've still got that kind of wooden structures here. And uh, this building is also a wooden one. Yeah, it's amazing how they do preserve the history. Yeah, I think they have kind of torn down a lot of them and reconstructed them. So I'm going to get a haircut here in Taipei because I want to look fresh for Taiwan. We're here for three weeks. And so we've come to this place over here, Super Haircut. All right, guys, so I'm just having my haircut yeah. with my friend here. What, what's your uh, name? Wiki. Uh, Wiki. Wiki, okay, so Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Oh, it's like an English name, Ricky. All right, guys, we are finished up. This is the final product. Ricky has done a really good job. Share, <laughs> share. All right, Ricky, there you go. That's 150. You. Okay, share, yeah. share. All right, thank you. All right, guys, that was a really pleasant experience. Go to a uh, super haircut. I feel like a new man. Yes, yes yeah, I feel great. Like the feeling you get when you have a haircut is just, you can't beat it. Uh, ni hao. Yeah. Can we get the brown sugar milk tea? Only for hot one. Oh, only for hot, okay. You want ice wine, you can choose sparky latte. What is the most popular one, the, the best one? The best one? Yeah. Uh, pearl milk tea. Pearl milk tea, okay, we'll get yeah. pearl milk tea, uh, iced. Uh, with, uh, does that come with the pearls, with the bubbles, right? Yes. And oh, would you like your ice or sugar? Sugar, could we have, uh, oh. Half and half. Maybe low sugar? Low sugar. And uh, less, ice. less ice, yes. Okay. Uh, 60, please. 60. I think uh, we're going to try and pay by card, right? Mm -hmm. Always trying to pay with our Starling bank card. Yeah. It's okay by card? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, and just tap? Yeah. Hey, no, no, no. Oh, no? no, no oh, oh, the uh, yeah. easy card. Yeah, easy card. Oh, you maybe can yeah, we can use the easy card. We got our easy card today. Oh. Yes. <laughs> we, we wait, show, show my one. This is oh, funny. Yeah, this is <laughs> we got this one. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's easy card? Oh, yes. Yes, okay. yes. Okay, we can just uh, tap. Uh, let me touch. All right, there we go. Okay, we took it. It's 440 now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you made a good use. That's really good, yeah. Look at our guy here. It's so you. Thank you. Oh, Sheshe. Sheshe. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> so, no trip to Taiwan is without having bubble tea. It was actually invented here in Taichung. I think. Uh, someone accidentally added or not accidentally i think they were testing it out and experimenting with uh with the bubbles we got a bit of construction here as per usual uh there is a lot of construction happening in uh in uh taipei so uh i'm a little bit distracted right now everyone's using these u bikes i think with the easy card we can actually rent the uh yeah, yeah. u bikes uh, but I think, oh, another bike. <laughs> uh, I love it how they can actually ride the bike all over the city. It seems like a nice thing to do. But I think that the person who invented this just was experimenting and added uh, the pearls, so the tapioca balls, to the iced milk tea. And that's what we have here. All right, Caroline, do you want to do the honors? <laughs> Give it a little stab. One, two, three. Oh, that's good. All right, let's give this a go. 
Oh, I'm not sure if we're supposed to shake it about. Uh, I think maybe we're supposed to shake it about, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Mmm. Oh yeah. This is so good. This is actually. Whew, that's the best bubble tea I've had in my life. That's not exaggerating, guys. Like, it makes sense. We're in Taiwan. Really good, right? It's not overly sweet. I think it's mm. black tea. Mm. It's milk tea. So it's milk tea, a little bit of sugariness, and the tapioca balls are tiny. Yeah. Usually we have uh, back in England like the, the, the bigger big ones. ones. Yeah, these ones are like mm. nice. Oh yeah. So I had to show you guys something so cute. Look at these guys. All oh, these little cats. They're so cute. They're like paired up together. All right, this one's just like looking at these two having fun and being like, oh, I want some fun. <laughs> oh, and it's by himself. This one. Oh, these two as well. It's so cute. Often uh, here in like East Asia, we've seen a lot of like window kind of shopping for pets mm -hmm. with uh, really cute dogs or also cats, just like that. Sometimes even random animals, but uh, oh, here we go, yeah. dogs. It must be like the area for dogs. Oh, these ones are, uh, I think they're sleeping. Yeah, way calmer. Right? Yeah, way calmer, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, I don't know if it's like, I think because we're actually coming into the Sinyi district, I think it's more of a wealthier area. So maybe that's why these uh, animal shops are here because maybe wealthy people buy them. They're, I think they're quite expensive probably. And we have another one over here. Oh, okay, here we go, some more cats. Oh, this is dogs. Hello. <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> I don't know if it's like, uh, is that like a right thing to do to have the pets in the windows? I don't know. <clears throat> I get the impression some of the dogs were just like lying down exhausted. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if it's exactly pet friendly. So we are now going down this street. That's an elephant. So that might give you a clue to where we are heading. The sun has come down, it's coming down, and the temperature has also come down. But what I love here in Taipei is that you can just stroll for hours on the streets with no real aim, but you'll just find yourself in areas like this where you can see lots of fresh fruit. They're selling all kinds of things. Of course, food is always big on the agenda here in uh, Taipei. Even this, like you got these kind of like stalls here with uh, kind of uh, old granny selling really good kind of looks like homemade Taiwanese food. Whew, smells so good. And on this street here, people are walking down. Like we're walking on this street, but also this is like shared with the cars. It's, it's actually very respectful and it's really very easy to kind of maneuver here. Very walkable. I wasn't expecting it. I, for some reason I thought it might be very overwhelming, uh, loud. Um, there is traffic, but it's quite like well managed. So we are now climbing up to the top of this mountain. I think that's called Elephant Mountain. But here in Taiwan, the buildings look very kind of old, but very retro. I like them. It feels yeah, like yeah, so many plants and it feels like you're going back in time like before we were even born and, and uh, I can see a lot of people are hiking up to Elephant Mountain which in uh, I think it's called Xiang Shan I think okay let's start climbing so many steps to climb that's the view and uh, I don't know how long this is going to take. I think around maybe 30 minutes. Let's find out. Okay, guys, my legs oh, are hurting. <coughs> I got this elephant here, look. Let's have a little rest. Oh. Oh. I can see just in front of me, it's covered by the trees, but you can see a glimpse of the city. And uh, Taipei 101. 
<laughs> the observatory. I think it costs quite a bit to go up. It seems inside of Taipei 101 there's just a lot of luxury places, shopping, even it just catered towards kind of a certain type of tourist. And Carolina's coming up. <laughs> Ooh, I've got I'm sitting on the elephant, Carolina. <laughs> you want a little sit down? Yeah. <clears throat> How many steps have we done today? And that's what's killing me. <laughs> My legs. It's not that I'm not sporty, but we've done already 25k. 25,000 steps. Okay guys, we have made it to the top. Very sweaty right now. I'm trying to wipe that off. But uh, this is... Oh, wow. wow. This looks amazing. Check this out guys. Ooh. What a beautiful wow. view mm -hmm. of the whole city. Wow, can you even see the mountains in the background? Don't forget guys, get your exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com forward slash jesh. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. And we're just going to be enjoying the view, waiting for the sun to come down. Ending the day where we started it at Taipei 101. Look how stunning that is, all lit up. I love the green just over here. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. We are in Taiwan for three weeks. We've got many more videos coming your way for Taipei. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.